Hi y'all, and welcome to my channel, Fred Makes Things, um, and another vlog style video, sewing video, come along with me while I figure out how to make things type video. Uh, so today as the um, thumbnail and uh, title suggests, we are making pillow covers for my outdoor pillows for this dude here. Right there, Suzers. Susie Suz. Um, yeah, so we're at the beginning of April and um, I need to get these pillows covered because Susie is using this big guy to jump in and out of the window and has had it result in it being covered in paw prints. Not sure how her paws are making it dirty, but they are. So uh, we need to make a cover for this one, for these two, and for this one. Um, hopefully uh, this bench is being taken care of either this month or next month. So you may have already seen the transformation or look forward to the transformation. Um, we will see. So anyway, uh, it goes on this. Here is a photo of what it looks like um, when the pillows are out there in the summer, all nice and pretty. Um, and then, yeah, we're gonna figure out some way of covering them. Actually, I know how we're gonna, oh, I'm 90% sure. I know how we're going to cover them. So to give you an idea, there's the Caesar. I bought uh, this fabric. So, oh, I should have thought this through better. Here's cushions for those chairs and there's like a, like a long bench thing way over there. But anyway, we're, we're not worrying about those today. Oh, she left. So here's the fabric that I picked up for the cushions. This beautiful tiger fabric, right from January's Sewers Club box. That's gonna be the accent fabric for like the little pillows and things. Um, and then I picked this um, palm leaf or something fabric up at Joanne Fabric uh, last fall, I wanna say. Um, it was on clearance. So I picked this up. This is outdoor material. And then this is just like a cotton. So I'm gonna use this. Cats are breaking things. I'm going to use this as like the main um, covering for this guy, right? Cause you sit on it and stuff like that. And then whatever I have left over, I'm going to use for um, the other cushions and with this mixed in like, how great is that together? Uh, purely coincidental that the colors work, but right, these are the colors that I like, so it, it, it makes sense that they would. Um, and then if I need to, I have other coordinating fabric that works with this as well um, to help finish off the pillows. But I have like two meters, I think of this. Like I have a lot of it, so I should be okay unless it's looking to be too much tiger and then I have other things to work with it. So yeah, um, follow along as I figure out how to make cushion covers and I'm going to go see what the cat just knocked down. Okay. So here we are. Step two, three, um, next video recording anyways. So what I've done is I laid this big curved piece out, like the big pillow out on the floor, traced around it, double checked to make sure the sizing was correct, and then pinned it to another one so that I have two of exactly the same size. I made sure that right sides, sorry, you can't even see, um, right sides were facing so that um, the curve matches on both sides. Because I hand traced it, they're not perfect curves on both sides. One side's a little different than the other. So I wanted to make sure that when this goes onto the pillow, 
uh, or when I'm sewing really, that the curves match in a way that won't make it too difficult to shove it back into the pillow. So those are cut and done. Um, I measured how big I wanna make my zipper because I'm doing a zipper on the gusset, I decided. This zipper is 42 inches long. I'm gonna do two zipper pulls but it's 42 inches long, planning on making it 40 inches along the curve when it's done. Um, and then I cut all of the gusset fabric. There's not gonna be any lining or anything on this because it's a nice thick, like outdoor weight fabric. So I don't think it needs it. So um, I need to do like 132 inches or something like that. I'll pop the number up for you on the screen. Um, around 122 inches around I can't I don't quite remember but I have it written down um, so what I did is I cut out two three and a half inch pieces for the gusset because the gusset needs to be five inches deep so I did two three and a half inch pieces for the zipper um, and then I cut out a bunch of six inch pieces that I'm going to sew together um, and then measure out. I need whatever this number on the screen is for you um, in finished gusset sizing. But instead of doing all that math now, I'm going to sew these three strips together and then work on it. Um, I have one longer 42 inch strip. That strip is going, hey mama, hey mama. That strip is going to be um, the front section because the front section of the pillow is flat um, and I don't want any um, um, seams on the front. I want it to be nice and clean. So that's what we're doing. Here's the Suzer. She really loves sewing. She loves the fabric and to like roll around on anything that I'm doing. I don't think she cares for me as a person human being, but she's a big fan of all the fabric. She always lies on it. Case in point, here's a photo of her lying on the fabric the other day when I pulled it out. Within like seconds of me pulling it out, she was on it. So anyway, um, here's this step. I'm doing all of this first, um, and then I'm going to approach um, all of this here after, so that the big cushion is done, and then I'll use this um, for the other cushions after, but I want to make sure that everything fits this big one first. So um, I'll be back after I've finished sewing everything together. Um, how I'm going to sew it together is I'm going to put the zipper on first. Actually, I'm going to sew the, the, the long gusset pieces on first. Then I'm going to sew the zipper onto the zipper section. Um, and then I'm going to measure everything out and make sure that it matches exactly. And then I'll attach it to one side of the pillow uh, cover and then the other side. So I'll be back in a few minutes to show you that and then to discuss the next steps in the process. Okay, so we're on to the next day of this creative process. Um, what I've done today so far is finish the big cushion. I'll show that to you in photos. Um, somehow, I somehow messed up on the back bottom panel and I have a really big um, pleat or um, fold or something in it. I have no idea how I did it, but um, because it's going to be the bottom of the cushion, I don't really feel like going in and fixing it right now. But um, so yeah, here's photos of that. Um, I double stitched everything, sewed the seams flat so that um, there was less chance of them unraveling. And yeah, uh, I was very careful with the gusset, ended up still making it so that there's a corner sort of on the front that annoys me, or a seam on the front that sort of annoys me, but I can live with it. It's my first attempt. Um, now you're looking at the tiger fabric that's going to be covering the main front pillow. I have more than enough of this uh, fabric 
to make it all work out. So here's the front panel. Um, the back panel is going to be um, these two pieces. They're cut, they just need to be sewn together. Um, well, hemmed and sewn together. So that's done. But I'm working on these pillow by pillow um, because I don't have a whole ton of this uh, turquoise fabric. So for the last pillows, these two like littler ones, um, I'm going to piece those after piecing this big one just to make sure I have enough fabric because really all I have left in the frond is like this piece here of scrap and like a couple of like little scraps like this so i want to make sure that i get the next size pillow um done properly and then i'll worry about the rest of them go back and fix it so here we are um i will come back to you when the big pillow is done um, and I've cut the pieces for the two little pillows. Day three. So I actually finished these last night around midnight, but it was too dark to film and get the color um, proper. So here we are talking about them today. Here are the finished um, accent pillows, arm pillows. Um, basically how the chair is designed is you have your base pillow, your back pillow, and then your two like arm side pillows. This is one of those. The other arm side pillow is with the other two um, pillows. So I just wanted to bring this one up to show you because they're exactly the same. So here's the tiger with the um, frond pad, uh, fabric. Um, I did a accent color in this kind of muted orange salmony kind of tone just to break the two patterns up because i love both of them and i think they look great together having them um all together like that kind of made for a really busy looking um creation so i decided that this orange stripe might be like a good um, way to break up some of that so i had my choice between this rusty orange that came in a um, as a fat quarter. All of these actually came as fat quarters. The original coordinating pagoda, but I thought that was going to be too busy as well. Like that's just like pattern on pattern. Then there was this really soft blue that also came in a, as a fat quarter. Actually, all three of them came as a fat quarter. Or all, all four of them came as a fat quarter. I liked that, but it kind of went softer on me and I like the high contrast better. Um, or this one, which works, but again, um, I liked this orange better. Let me know which color you would have chosen. See if I chose the same as you or different. Um, so yeah, I also started doing this beautiful top stitching on each side, but then I forgot on this one. So they're not balanced like that and that kind of bothers me. But overall, I'm okay with it. Um, so also to keep the integrity of all the fabrics, I decided to use um, interfacing on the Tiger like on this part here because this is like indoor cotton fabric and then this is like a thicker canvasy kind of outdoor fabric so in order to keep everything the same I used um, interfacing on this section here um, the measurements for the pillow in general are going to be up on the screen for you roughly this guy's about 10 inches this is about three two and a half three inches and then this eats up the rest of it at around, I want to say around five or six inches, but I can't quite remember. Um, I'll put that on the screen for you as well. So here's the front. Here's the back. Um, I did have to piece all of one side together because I ran out of fabric to show you that. I'll show you what I have as leftover. 
So I have quite a bit of like this tiger stuff left. Like I think I have like a full on meter. I've already folded it and set it aside. Actually, no, it's right here. Oh no, this is all just scrap. So I have a couple of scrap pieces left of the tiger that I can do on other things, um, which is kind of cool. I also have like another set, full set of two, so like eight more um, attached. Um, I have like little pieces of this fabric left, which will make some sort of scrappy project or something really cool. Um, and then I have only like bits. bits of like this stuff left like I had to do a lot of piecing to make the backs work because I wanted to have the backs um, have a bit more structural integrity like this is the largest piece of leftover and it's not that big so I'm not sure I'll keep these around for some sort of future purpose but they're just scrap right now so yeah um i both pillows have different oops, both pillows have like different seams and stuff kind of just making what i had left work but i think it turned out okay like because the pattern is so large and kind of random you can't really tell and it's the back of the pillow so that helps too and yeah there you have it so here's the finished guy here um, and then I'll bring you over to the actual other th three pieces um, and then when I set them up outside actually here's a photo of the other three pieces and then when I set this up outside so you can see it in the chair I'll do my goodbye so I'll see you again in a few minutes. Someone is needing attention. So before we cut to the final reveal, um, here is this month's temperature quilt update. Uh, as you can see, we're starting to get into warmer temperatures. Uh, we hit my maximum color of that red there by Susie's foot. Um, we had a two, actually the orange, sorry, by Susie's foot. That was a couple of weeks ago. That was over 30 degrees Celsius. Um, and then we kind of dropped down into a bit more of the milder colors. But yeah, so here we are. It is not up to date. We're about a week behind thanks to my war wound from Susie. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I talked about that in Monday's video. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you this before we go outside to check out the final project, or the, the look of the pillows. So yeah, there's your temperature quilt update for uh, April, I guess. Um, I think it's looking really, really good. I'm really liking it. Um, I did mess up down in here and accidentally flipped um, the, like if you look here before the red, I have the colder day pointing up and then after the red I flipped it and it's all pointing down now. But I think it's, it's random enough that you're not going to be able to really tell. So I don't think it really matters in the long run. So yeah, okay, let's go outside and take a look at the um, chair. So uh, please excuse the weeds in the background and this br uh, broken he bit here. Um, I need to um, come out and clean this area up. We haven't had the chance yet and it's been really rainy the last week or so, so the weeds have just exploded. But um, here it is in all of its glory. I think it looks great. 
I love these colors. It's more vibrant um, here in person than it is on film, but um, I think that could be the lighting of the sun too. If you hear if you hear wind and stuff, I am outside on a bit of a windy day, but this is the only day this week that I can do this um, without rain. So here we are. I do wish that the tigers did sit a little bit higher up, but that's okay. It's just for me, so I think it's absolutely fine. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Hey, do you like this or do you prefer the original? Here's a photo of the original, all nice and white. Um, let me know. Um, the only reason, like I said at the beginning, is that, uh, that I'm not keeping it nice and white is dirt and mess and cats and whatnot. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. And with that, I'm going to go. Uh, subscribe if you like this style of video. Um, or if you want to see unboxings and whatnot, next Wednesday should be our Sewers Club unboxing video. Um, and yeah. Um, I'll say thank you so much for watching and I will talk with you again soon. Bye!